Hello, my name is Katrina, and today I'm going to make a gum paste, which I use to make flowers. So I use exactly 40 milliliters of water, one and a half teaspoons of a gelatin, I pour the water in a gelatin and put it aside for 10 minutes. After that, I'm going to prepare a base. I need 3 teaspoons of syrup. I use light corn syrup. Add 3 teaspoons in a metal pot. You can use any syrup you have at home. Then we need 2 teaspoons of fat. Most of the time I use butter. You can use butter, margarine, coconut oil or any other fat you have at home which doesn't have a strong smell and doesn't have salt in it. After that, you will need to add another ingredient, which is alcohol. I use liquor in this time, and you can use any alcohol you have at home. Just add one teaspoon in the mixture, Start combining all the ingredients together. Put them on the stove on the low setting of the heat and warm it up to approximately 60 degrees. The most important thing, it should not boil and it shouldn't burn. So stir it occasion, not occasionally, but really frequently and wait until all the fats dissolve, all the fat pieces dissolve. When you don't have any other pieces of fat left in the pot, you can add your gelatin to the mixture, to the um, warm mixture, and mix it together. Then, after you mix it, you turn off your stove and put it aside. Then, you will need to prepare your ice and sugar. When you measure your icing sugar, if you measure it with a bowl on the weights, make sure you put your weights on zero when you put the bowl. So you'll see the weight of icing sugar, but not the bowl with icing sugar. Then you add your icing sugar and measure exactly 500 grams of icing sugar. In some cases, you might need to have more icing sugar than 500 grams. When you have your icing ready, pour all the liquid ingredients in the middle of the bowl with icing and start combining all the ingredients together. When it's difficult to mix with a spoon, start kneading the gum paste dough with your hands, just like you do with a pizza dough.
at the some point stop and check for the consistency of the dough. If it's still sticky, continue to knead. When there is no more icing sugar left in the bowl, check for the consistency of the gum paste lamp. And if it's elastic and not sticky, it is ready. If it's not elastic or it is sticky, you can add some more icing sugar. To store the gum paste and keep it moist, use the plastic bag with a piece of fat inside. Just spread the fat inside the bag with your hands and put your gum paste inside the bag and seal. Remove as much air as possible and leave it at room temperature for 24 hours before use. And here is a short instruction how to use this gum paste after 24 hours. You need to pinch a piece of gum paste from the lamp of the gum paste and if you need, you can color it. In the process of kneading your gum paste, you will need to use some extra fat to give more elasticity to your gum paste. It should be elastic to, to the touch and not dry. Remember, you need to use the exact amount of ingredients to get a gum paste with the right consistency.